So you just started playing DVD and you don't know how to unlock new perks. No worries, I've asked the internet and found the keys to unlock the perks. If you're brand spanking new, you're in the right spot. If you're a Nancy main able to get a flashy save through a slat in the wall and you have a baby dweet, drop them off at the Zen daycare and we'll get them out of the locker and onto a generator in no time. Buckle up kids, we're going to the blood web. From the main menu, click on play as killer or play as survivor depending on which side you want to level. I'm sticking to the killer side since I usually play survivor side and those characters are all pretty chunky already. If the character you want to level is already selected, fantastic. You're ready to get started. If not, just look up at the top left corner and you'll see what looks like a fancy tic-tac-toe board. Click that and it will bring up your whole roster. Select the abomination of choice and we'll move on to the next step. In the blood web, which is on the left hand side and looks like a five-year-old grabbed a hole punch and a marker and went to town, you'll see the character's unique perks. If there's a lock on them, then it means that they're not available for the other characters to learn yet. So if you fill up your blood web, you will eventually see these bad boys unlock at Prestige 1, giving every killer on your roster access to that perk at level 1. Prestiging requires you to do 50 levels on the blood web, then hold the prestige button like you wish you could hold your crush, pay it 20,000 blood points, and it will roll over back to level 1. You don't lose any of the perks or items when you prestige because the devs knew that they had Skull Merchant in the works and wanted to pre-apologize for the hour-long matches in our futures. You can tell what prestige level each character is by pulling up your roster and looking for the numbers at the bottom right of their portrait, or if you're on the character you need the info for, just look at the top left where it has the character name and it will have your prestige level. If there isn't a number there, then they are at prestige zero. If you have a fresh killer, you will start out with one available perk slot because learning to play killer isn't hard enough already. You can get more perk slots by leveling up the blood web. A new perk slot will unlock at level 5, 10, and 15. If you don't know what level your blood web is, look at the top right below their name and it will say blood web level and then the number. Here's the part where it gets a little complicated and where some decision making may come into play. All perks come in three levels. Level 1 is yellow, level 2 is green, and level 3 is purple. The stats of all the perks increase with level, with purple being the most powerful version of the perk. So obviously, you want the level 3 purple tier. So if you want Lethal Pursuer to see where survivors are when you load in, you can bring Nemesis to Prestige 1, and Lethal Pursuer will now be available for every killer on your roster at level 1. If you literally want to play Wraith and maybe one other killer, you can just switch back to Wraith's blood web and grab higher levels of Lethal Pursuer as they show up. If you want to have it available for all killers at the higher levels, then keep Prestiging Nemesis. Prestige 2 makes it available at level 2 for all killers, and Prestige 3 will make it available to all killers to use immediately at the highest level. If you're a variety player, I would recommend just getting each killer to Prestige 3. If you've already found the perfect killer, you can just Prestige 1 all killers and level up those perks for your main without wasting the points on the other killers you will never use. Now, if you are broke and can't afford to buy any of the licensed characters, but you're frothing at the mouth to get some of those sweet, sweet perks, there is hope for you. On the main menu, head down to the store, which looks like your browser history has come to life and is making love to a trunk. Go to the Shrine of Secrets tab and there will be four perks available for you to snatch up with some eerie shards, which you get from logging in and going up in player level. Pretty much just play the game and you will passively accumulate eerie shards. There are four new perks available each week, so you'll have to stop in every once in a while to check it for new stuff. You can also just visit the artist formerly known as Twitter and follow Dead by Daylight there to save yourself the trip since they tweet what the new shrine perks will be. Just hover over the perk and it will give you a description, the tier, and the cost. If you have a perk that is only level 1 from prestiging a killer and you really don't feel like pumping the blood points into that killer, you can also just buy the higher level tier to make it available to other killers if it appears here. I really wouldn't recommend it because blood points are easy to get, but eerie shards accumulate much slower and I'd honestly rather use them to buy skins or new unlicensed characters than buy perks. There will be perks that appear from licensed characters, so if you can't afford Nemesis but you really want lethal, you can check in here once a week and use the free in-game currency instead of your real life wallet. Once you buy it here, it can be found on the blood web for the characters you already own. You can also rebuy perks you already have for a bunch of blood points, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now that you have your perks, get out there and have fun, kiddos!